Toy Tractor Times is the 2020 St. Louis Farm Toy Show. We're here with Aaron Ragsdale from Pocahontas, Arkansas. A little trip up to Missouri. And yeah, about four hours. Yeah. Well, you've got a great looking display here, and we'll take a look at it. Uh, I guess we'll start here at the farm entrance. Yeah. Got the fencing. and. Yep. This is a farm based out of uh, Arkansas. It would be mostly rice and soybeans, and they would have just got into cattle. They wouldn't have too much stuff for cattle, but they just thought they should branch out into something else. So. Well, it's a good looking farm. I guess we'll start here. You got the tractor for sale oh, yeah. up here by the road. Nice uh, entrance here with the fencing. Mm -hmm. Just a project that they bought and they never got around to finishing it. Imagine the cattle's taking up some time now. Oh yeah, for sure. I like your international uh, truck here. That's pretty tough looking. Yeah. I took the bed off of it and put custom stacks on it and bought all the stuff for the bed. So we got a semi truck going down the road here. Yeah, there would be probably a quarry or a rock pit down the road and he'd be delivering to asphalt plant or something like that. Well, it's trucks down here would be going back to the quarry to get some more gravel. I really like how you've got the curve in the road. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that where you kind of go right through and bisect the display. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. I don't know where I got that idea from. I just did it. <laughs> I like that. Then this is probably the first cutting of hay and he'd just be out here loading in it up and Got the custom Dodge that I did. I lifted it and painted it and put a custom exhaust on it. I put the toolboxes on the trailer okay. and mud flaps in it. Looks like got a 6400 here. Yep. And I, I customized the... Oh, neat. Put forks on it. Then we've got a International 88 Series here on the wheel rake. He just got done here and they just pulled it yeah. over there being close to the end of the day. Got the Case IH RB564. Uh, That's a replica yeah. of my granddad's tractor. Right there. Very nice. 1086? Yep. I like the uh, dual the hubs bar the there. Hubs. Yeah. And this is the shop dog. Okay. You got some lights working on the uh, planner. Just getting it ready. Got the Cub Cadet lawnmower and the demonstrator and the John Deere. Good taste products. of directors. Yeah. <laughs> got the All American Challenger here. Yep. And you got the guy that always shows up at the shop, you know, just wanting to talk for two or so hours. So he's standing there with a the guy sweeping. <laughs> got the air compressor in the back. Nice. Got the tools and yep. IH or International uh, Navistar hard yep. flaps. Mm -hmm. Here, look at on this side. It's a little more, a bit more detail in here. I'll look down. Here's our guy that's talking. Watch everybody else working. Mm -hmm. Challenger. Back here is where all the tools are at, all the cabinets and everything, torches and welders and stuff. I like your service truck up here. Yeah, that's mostly all more stuff that I put on there, just on a green light. Service truck. So it looks like we've got a uh, equipment shed here. Yes, this is a replica of my brother's truck because that's what we do. We don't have a farm, we okay. truck. And this would just be the farm's two trucks, and the bin site would be somewhere else. Uh, it's a nice uh, Peterbilt Freightliner, got the Challenger MT800. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, see, I noticed you got lighting here too. That's nice and all wired in here on the edge of the display. And right here is, uh, I built the sprayer trailer. Okay. And then this Peterbilt right here, I put a single axle on. Oh, nice. And got a John Deere sprayer right here. Which fits nice on the trailer. Got the four-wheeler parked outside because the kids never put it back where it, right. in the sheds. Yeah. Right here, the guys got to clean his truck, got the shop back and everything out. Got the helper that ain't helping too much. The pressure washer out. Right here, we just got some extra wheels and stuff. And he's about to go out and start cutting another field. Got the old backhoe. 
Always handy to have on a farm. Oh yeah. But. And right here, this is a custom race car trailer that I made. It's about to probably go out to the races for Saturday night. Got a commodity bin here. I guess that must be for the cattle. Yes. We got, got the, the water hose reel, just using an old rim nice. off a big truck. Looks like this must be for knocking irrigation ditches out, or? Yeah. Which yeah. isn't used very often, but it just sits there. Got a custom land all that I did. Like that. And the spreader. And this guy right here is unhooking the bush on. Got a nice pond. Yep. Then we just put out some hay bales for the cows. Let's see. Always every farmer's got something behind the shop. A rusted out truck and an old spreader. And this cow is about to take to the vent. He's opening up the door. Yeah, that's a nice trailer. I scratch built that trailer and put an ergle tongue on it. I painted a dodge also and put a tank on the back of it. Right here, this is another truck going down to the quarry to get more gravel. You got the old pop-up uh, camper here and some yeah. John Deere's. And yeah. Looks like a hay shed. And got a cow in there that just had a calf. So here we can see the road again. Well, we got the Mack truck and mm -hmm. looks like race night must be coming up. Yep, taking it maybe to the races or the shop get a little few things worked out for the races. Another uh, fifth wheel trailer here. Yep. Never really used. Got some wheels pulled off of it and on blocks over here. Yeah, I say that's not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. It's been sitting out there for a while. Looks like they're drilling over here with a 1590 or 1560 drill. Yeah, he's probably getting pretty close to being done for the day, so he's parking it and heading back to the truck. Nice uh, 4450 with some yep. custom wheels and tires here. Yep. So what are they planting out here? Maybe rice or corn or really anything. Arkansas, we have corn, rice, and soybeans. That's really okay. all we do. Sure. No, it's a neat state. I, I always want to get down there to see the yeah. rice. Yeah. That's really all it is, is rice. <laughs> Got a road cutting off the main road. That's about all the display. Well, Aaron, thank you for the tour. It's a great yep. display. Yep. Thanks for coming up to the show. Are you plan on taking to any other shows? Or? I don't know. We'll have to see, I guess. All right. Well, it looks good today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for checking out this display on Toy Tractor Times YouTube. But consider subscribing to the channel where there are hundreds of videos on farm displays. And check out ToyTractorTimes.com on Toy Talk, the message board where people talk about custom building and building these displays. As always, thank you for watching.